waiting for a man who says he's going to blow the lid off the secrets of the religion of the stars to tell the story of the dark side of the Church of Scientology. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Hi, Mark. Hey, thanks for having me. Of course. Um, yeah, well, you know, we're stuck in, in the middle of nowhere, sitting in a hotel room. We might as well do something useful and productive with our time. Right, and we're simul-streaming this, so it's on my channel and your channel at the same time. Exactly. As we are bound to do, I think, every time we do any video from now on. Right. <clears throat> okay, the, the reason I wanted to do this video today is I saw a notification about an upcoming uh, awards presentation, which we'll get to in, in a little while, from the Simon Wiesenthal Center. And the Simon Wiesenthal Center is a, an extremely prominent and prestigious organization that um, is supportive of all things in the Jewish religion and very opposed to anti-Semitism. And they are good buddies with Tom Cruise. In fact, back in 2011, I think it was, uh, they presented Tom Cruise with an annual Human Rights Award or something. Let me just see if I can find this. Um, yeah, there we go. Wiesenthal Center honors Tom Cruise and three Medal of Valor honorees at its 2011 National Tribute Dinner. Okay, whatever. That's what they did back then. I don't know that... Oh, wrong one. I don't know that... Oh. <laughs> my computer. I have this jury rigged little. Stick. I guess so. We got a sneak peek at your whole uh, your whole outfit over there. <laughs> my, my computer fell off the fell off the almost fell off the desk. I grabbed it in time. How in any how, how weird is that that their event has the same name as Scientology's Medal of Valor? Yep, and that was in two thousand and eleven. Now, subsequent to 2011, there has been, uh, and, and it may not have been so apparent, and may, it may have started before 2011, but I think it really got going, this, this unholy alliance between Scientology and the Nation of Islam after 2011. I don't really know for sure, but I think so. So... I thought that it was kind of interesting that the Simon Wiesenthal Center has never apparently taken this up as an issue. And in fact, this year are again, including Tom Cruise in their annual award dinner. And you can see that here. This is a, a report from The Hollywood Reporter, which is what brought this to my attention, that they will have their national tribute dinner and dinner chairs include Tom Cruise. Now, this is today. This is, <laughs> this is not 2011. This is today. And the, the world of Scientology and its interactions with and relationship with the Nation of Islam is a very different thing than it was back in 2011. Oh, God. Sorry. I've really got to... I've really got problems here. My feet are getting caught up in the cords. It's pulling. That's life on the road, man. Life on the road. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I don't think generally that, uh, certainly if the Simon Wiesenthal Center was doing their due diligence, they would know what this means and the, the interaction between Scientology and the Nation of Islam. But the Nation of Islam and Scientology have basically become joined at the hip. And Louis Farrakhan, the leader of the Nation of Islam, has promoted Dianetics heavily to its membership and has had a lot of Nation of Islam people go train to be Dianetics auditors and Scientology auditors and going into the organizations. If you go to the, the Church of Scientology in Washington, D.C., you'll see 
black men in bow ties and women almost exclusively at that particular church. You'll now see them in the Chicago church. But the most prominent of them is this guy, Tony Muhammad. He goes by another name, Saeed, Malik Saeed, something or other, Muhammad. Uh, I actually, it's also sort of coincidental. I featured him on my blog yesterday because this guy has made it all the way to Scientology level OT2. And he's in for a big surprise when he gets to OT3, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But Tony Muhammad was the, or is, the Western Regional Director of the Nation of Islam in the United States. He is like second in command to Louis Farrakhan. Tony Muhammad is also the recipient of the Scientology Freedom Medal. The you, same one Tom Cruise got. Right. You can see him here, the IS Freedom Medal winner 2017, and his Tommy boy, the IES Freedom Medal winner in 2004. Tommy got a bigger one than anybody else, but it's the same thing. He's, yeah, he's he got the, he got the flavor of flav Yeah, he got the flavor <laughs> flavor edition. Exactly. Tom Cruise did. Yeah, and and meanwhile, Tony just Tony Mo got the regular one. But this is a very very small group of people who have been recognized for this highest recognition and award in Scientology, the IES Freedom Medal. Tom Cruise and Tony Muhammad are two of, I don't know, 50 or 60 people over the history of this thing who have been awarded this medal. They are um, recognized in Scientology as being leaders of the religion, uh, religion they are recognized as being people that everybody should look up to and they are understood to be models of what scientologists should be in the world that is what that medal is about it is about we're holding up examples of people for all the rest of the scientologists to follow I mean, they yeah. have these people go out and do fundraising. They have them go out and do seminars. Like to this day, some of the beginning first IAS Freedom Medal winners are still going around all over the world, being sent around to tell people, you should be doing this. You should be doing that. Here we go. They're, like, they're like the uh, sort of model citizens of Scientology. It's and the it's the yeah, most, it's the highest award you can be bestowed upon in Scientology without paying money. That all the other ones you get, you have to pay millions and millions of dollars. This one, you just have to do a ton of stuff for Scientology. <laughs> exactly, yeah. that's exactly right. And and you have to be willing to keep um, pushing the Scientology message. And that is exactly what Tony Muhammad does. He is out uh, selling Scientology as hard as he can. I mean, that's partly because he gets a 10% commission on anything that he manages to sell, but he's out there pitching Scientology. He continues to be the Western Regional Director, director of the Nation of Islam. Now, <laughs> I have done a lot of uh, video, I mean, a lot of blog posts about Tony Muhammad and the statements that he has made that are horrendously, horrifically, and terribly anti-Semitic. And I will put links to those in the, the description of this YouTube video, but he is, he is an out and out Jew hater. Like, it, it, you couldn't put it more more um, strongly. Um, and the Nation of Islam itself is recognized as a, a, a hate group. Since it started. Since it started. In fact, if you go to the, 
the ADL uh, website, which is the basically the 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 foremost organization responsible for tracking anti-Semitism, you find this when you look up Nation of Islam. Nation of Islam, big hole. It's got like all these sections. And here is the first one, the key facts. And this is how it starts. The Nation of Islam, NOI, is the, large, the largest black nationalist organization in the U.S., has maintained a consistent record of anti-Semitism and bigotry since its founding in the 1930s. During his 40-year tenure as the NOI's leader, Louis Farrakhan has built a legacy of divisiveness as one of the most prominent anti-Semites in America. Wow. This is Tony Moe's boss. This is the guy that he <laughs> answers to. This is he's the second in command to Tony Mo. So th there's no doubt that this it, it's not just. I, I'm just trying to make clear that it's not just uh, some rogue individual. This guy represents the organization which is anti-Semitic to its core, and he is the perfect example of that organization. He also happens to be the perfect example of a Scientologist. He's a complete hypocrite. He is like, it, it's incredible how hypocritical this, this whole thing is. I mean, he just completed OT2. He's about to go on to OT3 and find out the whole wall of via Xenu, uh, you know, intergalactic warlord, all that stuff. And yet, the Nation of Islam has their own just as wacky. Um, the mother wheel. I mean, the mother wheel. And, you know, Louis Farrakhan says he was kidnapped and taken to the mother wheel up in the sky somewhere. And it's waiting for them. I, I mean, it's like the hale Bop Comet people. Yeah, get and, your quarters <laughs> ready. <laughs> I know. <laughs> exactly. And your, and your Nikes. Um, somehow or another... This, uh, oh, let me just go on. Uh, here is what the Southern Poverty Law Center says about the Nation of Islam. A lengthy record of anti-Semitism, their anti-Semitic ideology, blaming Jews rather than the systemic racism infecting American institutions. This, <laughs> this is the, the actual reality of Tony Muhammad and the Nation of Islam and Scientology's relationship with them. Yet, the Simon Wiesenthal Center doesn't appear to be bothered by Tom Cruise's support of, association with, and influence by this, this organization and one of its leaders he has never come out and said, it, nobody in Scientology has ever said a single thing about Tony Muhammad being an anti-Semite. That they, they rail against hatred and bigotry and anti-religious and they talk about and they say how terrible anti-Semitism is. And yet they promote this Tony Muhammad like he's some superstar of the Scientology organization. And I guess he is. So this is <laughs> truly puzzling. It is it's also bizarre. it is also truly rotten to the core that Scientology on one hand claims to be the champions of religious freedom, the the most vocal opponents to bigotry and hatred and religious hatred on the entirety of the earth and yet they have this guy promoting anti-semitism and they are promoting him and tom cruise can't avoid the fact that he is stuck to this guy he has never said a thing about how wrong this is he has never criticized the guy. And 
the Simon Wiesenthal Center seems to love Tom Cruise. I, I don't get it. Maybe they don't know. Maybe they should watch this video. Maybe they should go see what Tony Muhammad and Scientology are up to. Because Tom Cruise is the poster child for Scientology. Just like Tony Muhammad and Louis Farrakhan are the poster child for the Nation of Islam, he's the Scientology guy. And they put him up and, and stick his face on everything, just like they stick Tony Muhammad's face on everything. And those two cannot coexist if well, there is any truth in what they do. I think there's about to be uh, like a, a, a critical cr uh, crossroads here because if that Tony Muhammad guy... He just finished, didn't he just finish OT2? Mm -hmm. So he's just about to find, if he hasn't already, because if they announced that he did OT2, he's supposed to go right on to OT3. He might not already be just about to find out about Xenu and uh, the intergalactic uh, <laughs> warlord and all this. If he thinks they have a mothership and Xenu's not going to take that thing out, I mean, they're going to have, a, they're going to have, maybe, maybe they're going to take the mothership and go defeat Xenu with it. Maybe they're trying to get other space cults to get their uh, their uh, fleet, to get a larger fleet or something. I, but I, I, don't, I, I don't think those ideologies are going to mesh up. I don't think they're going to line up the way they think they might. Yeah, I, I am sure they will not. And I, I don't want to just go on and on yakking, yakking about this particular subject. I just wanted to get everything laid out and all the documents there and i'm going to put it on my blog too with all these documents so that there is a reference for people to go to and look at and find out what the real truth is because it's not it's not like this is just a made-up conspiracy theory this these are the the documents this is the evidence that this actually is happening and yeah. The, the Simon Wiesenthal Center should wake the fuck up. Yeah, do some research, man. Tom Cruise is not your guy. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know that, that, that the association with the Nation of Islam was a money thing from the get-go, of course. No, no, that, but I'm saying... Yeah, I know, that the Tom Cruise thing, absolutely. But I'm just saying, how did this, how did this uh, relationship come about? It came about when Scientology was trying to find some people from the black community that would come into the organizations that David Miscavige had built in Inglewood and Harlem yeah. at the insistence of Isaac Hayes. Yeah, and that was that whole <laughs> Al Freddy and uh, Dougie Fresh and that whole contingency that was like, hey, we got to get some, uh, some more folks in here if this is going to work out for us. Right. Right. And I think it was Al Fraudy that was the one who actually first got Tony Muhammad involved. And then somehow that led them to some presentation that they did to Calypso Louie. And then from there it went into, oh, yes, uh, L. Ron Hubbard. I, I mean, L. Ron Hubbard, the racist, is touted by Louis Farrakhan, the anti white guy as being the savior of mankind. And he, so he even weird. did he even <laughs> did a video about it. And he's like I've seen telling, that. telling all his people that the great L. Ron Hubbard found it a way for us to move. I mean, I yeah I don't he hasn't get... he hasn't heard the L. Ron Hubbard pretending to be a black person talking to his hat uh, lecture. <laughs> <laughs> hey hat. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So um, this is weird. I, I thought it was worthy of a quick um, live video today. I, for some reason, people seem to like live videos more than they do the pre-recorded ones. So actually, it's easier to do live videos than pre-recorded ones. So I'm sitting there with Mark at lunch. And, hey, should we do something? Yep, let's do it. Okay, so here we are. I don't want to make this a long video. Uh, we've got some questions here that we will answer that are a little, I, I'm sure some of them have nothing to do with this subject. I want to try and keep this 
relatively short. So if anybody from the Simon Wiesenthal Center or others do want to find out what's going on, they can watch the video and not see, oh, it's three hours long. I ain't going to get involved in that. Yeah. But you could also, if you're from the Simon Wiesenthal Center watching this or interested in what's going on with Tom Cruise, the Nation of Islam and Scientology, you can pretty much end it here because we're about to start answering questions about Ritz crackers. You think, you think we, is that what some of the stars? I just are? looked at the first one. Here we oh. go. Okay. Sometimes things are just spooky. I just saved this announcement for the live and clicked on it, liked it. And the first ad that comes up is the Ritz crackers. Hey, they know you guys are a bunch of cracker lickers out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Irene Hoffman, off topic. See? But did Scientology ever throw parties, dances for any stuff? Sea Org parties where everyone danced, mingled, and had fun together? Back in the old days, yep. Yeah, back in the 90s, that was uh, <clears throat> sort of a thing. We would go, we would have one like a New Year's party. We would have right. after the New Year's event that we put on in Los Angeles. And sometimes we go to the Bonaventure Hotel or um, what was the other one? The Biltmore. Um, but after, I want to say after 1993, those were very uh, few and far between. Yep, I agree. Okay, Gareth Dixonu would love to see a who's who and who's left reaction to the Mad Picket Mark Bunker video from 2000 where Bob Minton was picketing in Clearwater. Who's I think who the only left? person that's left from that whole thing is um paris uh the Mor Morf morphopolis or how do you say his name yeah morphopolis morphopolis i think he might be the only one of those people that's still kicking and i think um what's the osa guy that's at florida the, ben uh, shaw i think is ben glenn Shawn? stylo ben shaw is still there glenn stylo is still there i oh, think I Rich... glenn stylo got shipped i thought <clears throat> he got shipped off somewhere oh i heard I he got I heard he might have I mean, he was in charge of the immigration at Flag, and the immigration at Flag is a little, a little, a little shady. <laughs> well, not only is it a little shady, but I think uh, the government might be on to them. <laughs> <laughs> After that article appeared, it, you could be right. He might have been shipped off to uh, Denmark. I think they needed to make him South uh, Africa not or someone. Yeah, I think not, they uh, not to, available. Yeah, not available for questions because we have no idea exactly. where he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gone. He was here one day, gone the next. Yeah. Apollonia Paradise. Oh my God, the SP network is connecting so many dots. Thank you. That's what we're trying to do, actually. That's a yeah. that's a great way of putting it. It's not all about crackers, folks. Yep. Okay, kids, about to get my SP TV tattoo. Film oh of 11. Goodness. Oh, my God. <clears throat> okay, I, uh, we'll be looking down for it. Yeah, it's great content. Maybe not the best uh, decision. <laughs> <laughs> Kakatogi Road, do you think that the NOI guys are getting truncated, edited versions of the OT levels so that it avoids theological contradictions with their beliefs? Nope, I do not. I believe that Scientology and... David Miscavige believes that they are going to convert all of these people into Scientologists that are no longer associating themselves with the NOI. Yeah. And as soon as Louis Farrakhan figures that out, there is going to be a big, big come, come to Jesus or whatever they have come to Muhammad meeting, I guess. Yeah. I, I, it's well, they, not going to be pretty. A lot of those NOI guys <laughs> work like private security for uh for rappers and stuff like that like they're not a they're not a uh they're not a mess around and find out kind of crowd right takina maya according to aaron's recent show it began back in 2005 when louis farrakhan first got involved yeah that's probably right it probably yeah it was probably 2005 i just couldn't remember calico 26 did hubbard write any policies about different religions i've seen some posts from people saying you can be both, but I don't think that is true. Oh, that is absolutely not true. Yeah, it's, Hubbard it's, absolutely did write saying, you know, we're pan-denominational and we have no beef with other religions. And that's all PR. That is all just propaganda to try and <clears throat> avoid people 
not coming into Scientology because they think that they will have to give up their own religion in order to come into Scientology. So they're told at the beginning, you don't have to. They're told as they progress, you absolutely have to. In fact, Amy Scobie and I did a whole video about this recently called e The Easter Special, Can You Be a Scientologist and a Christian Too? Take a look at that. All the information is in there. We join a lot of dots there. So that will help you if you're curious more than my answer. Lisa Robinson, I'm so glad SPTV is exposing the two cults working together. I saw Aaron's before I went to work today. Thanks again for answering my questions, Mike. Oh, you're very welcome, Lisa. I don't know what Aaron did. I haven't seen it, so. I didn't see it either. Maybe <clears throat> he, did, he, he, he did a whole video about this, that SPTV programming is aligning and we didn't even know it. Exactly. Could be. Well, you know, he, he probably did it on the plane on the way to right. LA. Yeah. <laughs> Denver Stevo, do you think they, DM and his boys, are slow playing Tony M and keeping him at OT2 until they are sure he won't tear down the walls when he learns about Xenu? <laughs> well, no, I sort of answered that in the last answer. Yeah. I think that they think that they're converting him just as much as as uh, anything else. Oh, and hi to Osa from East Southern Luvias, Colorado. Never heard of that place. Yeah, no, he just that is up, no, he just is making up places that are close Oh, that's to like North Fairplay? Yeah, and South, uh, South Denver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chi-Town Native question. So do you think once they reach higher OTs and they read about the Overlord, isn't this against everything they believe in? Yes, that's exactly the point. It is absolutely against everything they believe in. If they have a whole nother origin story that doesn't include Lord Zenu messing up anything. <laughs> okay, that's oh, actually that's well, we actually did. all the stud questions we have know, right now. But we do have some other ones. Yeah, I know. I'm just looking. It's so them. hard to read through those. I got them. Okay. <clears throat> You can go to the Star ones yep, now. Yeah, I will. Want. Yep. Hellron Rubbard. Glenn is now in charge of MRG. Mike Rinder's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn. I like it's now Glenn. <laughs> Maria. Hi, Maria. Mike, is your boss not giving you time to check your email? Yes, I, I saw the email there. I saw all the stuff that you've sent to me. I just haven't had a chance to get back to you. Um, Christy told me that all the things that you've been sending to our house on the ride. Thank you very much. I will, once we're out of here in the next few days, my life will return to normal and I'll be able to catch up with all of that stuff. Uh, Lethanda Gronklinger, I prefer lives to recorded because I love to interact yes i think that is really the reason i was gonna say i know even if we don't get to every question we read a lot of them and we do. it's just it is nice it, i mean it's nice from our perspective too like i enjoy this way more than sitting look staring into a camera blankly by myself in a room by myself it's just a nicer nicer action it's also easier just to read what we're doing. It's also easier for me when somebody else is on, when you're on or something, because yeah. then I can just talk to somebody. I don't feel like I'm just talking to a camera and then not trying to right. mess and up if the I, words. Exactly. And if, and I, if I forget what I was going to say, I'm uh, deer in the headlights. Diane Jean Valicillo, do we need to crochet a mothership now? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh my um, goodness, no. that poor, uh, poor, poor woman is just crocheting a giant space station of aliens. Oh dear. Jacob Hockey, do you believe that ex NOI members who appeared on the aftermath had anti Semitic views? I know that Hubbard had a history of racist comments, but not all Scientologists are racist. Can NOI members be in a similar category? That's a terrific question, and I'm not 100% sure of the answer. 
I think that um, a bit like Scientology, where in order to be a Scientologist, you have to believe that everyone who isn't a Scientologist is either ignorant or evil. and Or, or sub. Yeah. And, they're and below you in some way. Therefore, Even they if they're are, not evil and they're not a criminal, they're still below you, like intelligence wise and capabilities wise. Correct. And that that is sort of part of being a part of the organization. But it doesn't mean that every person in Scientology cannot be an, an, an empathetic person. Sure. It, so it's the people at the top that are kind of the ones that you can be absolutely certain that that's what their, their prejudices and biases are. It, as you get further and further down the totem pole, I think it's, it's harder to generalize. That's about the best I can do to try and answer that one, Jacob. That's a great question though. Yeah. I, I would, I would kind of tend to think it would be like, you know, you know that Dave is very uh, homophobic and he's very um, anything that's out a little bit not white bread, he hates and he yeah. is very against and wants to make an example of those people. So then everyone below him sort of aspires to do that, to, 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 to toe the line and show off to him. So I would... I would err on the side of thinking it might be that way over at that place too. Yeah, probably. Shay Anderson, it is difficult to get a man to understand something when his salary depends on his not understanding it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great quote. That is a great quote. I, I'm going to double star that one and keep it. <laughs> okay, let's see. What's this? If you could play a game of Scrabble using only Scientology terms, which words would score the highest points? Oh my God, that's like a brain teaser. Um, well, Xenu would be pretty good because the X is a big 10 pointer or something. That's right. And also, that's a. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, th I think that might be. There's other kinds of long, like nomenclature and other words they use a lot in there. Only Scientology terms, though. I don't know if there's another lot of long ones like that. I think that's, uh, I think Xenu is a good one. Steve Britton, ADL was a decent source, but SPLC is utterly discredited. They label conservatives as bigots and had to pay defamation settlement to Majid Nawaz. Oh. Oh, well, sorry. You got you got one of them right. I did. Okay. They I'm, both said that they both more, more or less said the exact same thing in that. Right. Case, I don't. So, I, I mean, <laughs> it's just a multiple sources kind of thing. <laughs> Valerie Boljack. Aaron has non super chat. Start with question. Yeah, okay. we're fine. We we. That's true. We did say that the other night, I think, on a live, didn't we? Was that yeah. Aaron who said that? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Queen Diva, I've been following you guys since early aftermath days. Love watching and support what you do. My bobblehead is part of my own videos. Oh, that's cool. I love it when the bobblehead appears. Just scrolling down here. question i'm trying to look for ones that say question yeah there's some uh super some star super chats that say question even oh i see let's see margie r thank you margie uh anthony spurgeon if masterson is found guilty would so will scientology denounce great question uh almost without doubt they will claim that they knew nothing about it that it was all you know, he was a rogue element. He had, you know, he was outside the scope of Scientology ethics that they had actually thrown him out. Like, that's what we're going to start hearing. It'll be like the same story that they give about me and Mark and Claire and Leah and, 
oh yeah, we threw them out. They couldn't. After they escaped, we threw those system. guys out. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> after they, after they, after they escaped and quit, we fired them. Yep, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's see. Chi Town Native question: Since the baby boss is hidden, do you think he is aware of this explosive situation that is about to occur with the NOI? I don't know. I. Don't, I don't think he cares. I don't think he pays attention to stuff like that. I think that he he is probably the one that's saying, get Tony Muhammad through OT3. We will turn him into a, a cold, chrome steel, dedicated Scientologist. And you can guarantee when it goes sideways, there's going to be about gonna five people someone. that he's going to be able to blame for it. That's, yep. that's his M.O., Whenever yep. he says to do something and it goes horribly wrong because it was a monumentally stupid idea, he then blames it on all the people that he told to do it to. <laughs> right. Rain virus, thank you. Uh, Feota, did you guys check out Aaron's video on this iOS situation from yesterday? Very informative and detailed. Nope. No, we, we did not. Working. We've been working exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> Fat Cat's Heaven, do regular Muslims think NOI is a squirrel group? Yes, they do. Louis Gilberto, SPTV fashion, Mike wearing an SP, the SP tartan, and Mark is pulling the theta dot print. Each one of these dots represents one of the VPs <coughs> that I'm friends with. Yeah, I don't get rid of them. I collect them. <coughs> you, you hang on to them? I collect them, yeah. I'm picking Excellent. up other people's body things in the elevator or in the breakfast nook, you know? Okay. Wherever. Jacob Hockey, back again. Since Masterson and the church are both defendants in the civil suit, how do you think a guilty verdict in his criminal case will impact the defense's strategy in the civil suit? Oh, a, a, a guilty verdict in the criminal case will impact their defense strategy with how many zeros do you want on the check? Yeah, write the check because uh, they're not. Uh, yeah, that's going to be that is going to be uh, an interesting turn of events once this all kind of plays out to see what happens with all this other stuff. Right. OK, so someone up here. Aaron had the had the question on a non super chat so he could grab them easier. Oh, OK, I see. Yeah. OK, so here, let me let me I'll get a few here. <laughs> Richard Gibson old Zenu is a high scoring word it cannot be used because it's a proper noun oh yeah look at that that's some uh, that's true that's uh, we got a real Scrabble guy here he knew that exactly we, we, if I would have played it we all would have went along with it and then somebody would have said hey wait a minute that's not legal yep okay question wouldn't it be reasonable a reasonable thing to assume that the SWC would practice T. Well, that wasn't a good one, Mark. But it's the thing well, is, sorry, he forgot to forgot to finish typing. Question: Allah and Habit are polar opposites. It ain't gonna be pretty. Oh, that I one hundred percent agree with. Yeah, that is it is not going to be pretty. Okay. Let's see if I can find that Jeffrey guys. If he if he did another one that was actually complete. Sorry, yeah, I'm looking didn't. here too. Yeah, I didn't. I we didn't don't have that. a usual assistance on the job here today, right? Just yeah. Mark and me wobbling our way through this, doing what we can to keep. I like this happy. one. I'm gonna put this one up here, see if I can uh, keep your BTs and you're never alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to uh, Tom, Dick, and Harry here that hang out with me at night. My BT okay, guys. question. Have you listened to Robert Evans' deep dive into LRH's life on his podcast, Behind the Bastards? It's well-researched, but from the POV of non-Scientologists. No, I haven't, in, I haven't listened to that. I actually probably will now. That's interesting. Robert Evans. Hmm. Okay. Well, here we go. Will Claire and AA Ron be in LA on Monday? A. A. Ron is in L.A. Claire will not. But we will be doing our regular show tomorrow night at normal time, whatever that is. I don't know yeah. what normal time is. 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. Eastern? 
Which is it? <sighs> I think for the we Monday so nights. confused. I think for the Monday nights, 7 p.m. is normal. And then for the Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. is normal. Okay, there you go. So we will be seeing you at 7 tomorrow. The new video archives. If LRH came back, what would he do to DM? He would be he would be probably if he if he was like his old self, he would probably be a little upset because Dave did a few things he said definitely do not do. Yeah, he would he would definitely uh, be sending him to the RPF and probably inventing a new form of rundown to deal with a person like him. You know, <laughs> some some form of sex checking that would go on forever, <laughs> like beat. He, uh, he might checking for eternity. He might have a BT uh, minigun that he might invent <laughs> to shoot Dave with. <laughs> Just shoot all the BTs away. Jeffrey Ammerman, question. Wouldn't you think that the SWC would practice some oversight and discernment when it comes to deciding who would speak at their events? What benefit is there for TC to speak at the event? Well, that's the point. I, I As Mark says... Probably some financial or status within the industry or keeping somebody happy. I, I don't know. I don't know why they would. I don't know what the attraction of Tom Cruise is to the Simon Wiesenthal Center. Just well, if you look at that list of crew, though, that he's with the table, the chairs uh, list. So it's a lot of entertainment and directors and producers and executives that Tom Cruise has made maybe even billions of dollars for. Yeah. Um, and so that could be the reason because he just had a big movie. You know, the Top Gun movie didn't do too shabby. So, you know, probably I I'm going to say it's got to be it's got to be financially motivated and like kind of network and connection motivated. I, it could, can't be based on, uh, on merit. <laughs> <laughs> Vicki Holden, love you guys on SPTV and your commitment legends. Thank you, Vicki. You know, Mark, I think we're probably just going to wrap up pretty now, pretty soon, unless yeah. you've got something else you want to cover. No, I'm, I'm good. I will. Uh, we answered a bunch of questions. And um, that Jeffrey Ammerman was the guy who asked the earlier question. So that was. Oh, his, okay. Uh, that was his full question. Yeah. I was okay, just. That's, terrific. Yeah. I, okay. I think it was good. I think uh, if you guys haven't um, subscribed to Mike's channel or my channel, please do so. Based on the, uh, based on what YouTube's telling us, there's about 55% of you guys that watch that aren't subscribed. And uh, we're trying to get these videos out to more people, including Scientologists and, um, if you like and subscribe on the videos, that helps us. Uh, it, it tells YouTube that people uh, want to see these, and it puts them up in front of people that you know we're trying to reach. Thank you, thank you for that for that little promotional item. I am going to end off now with my little promotional end card, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye yeah. for now. Bye, guys.